Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting from to the final episode of Seventh Time Loops. Going to get started in three, two, one, go. I mean, but the thing is, he could turn around and change everything, but no. No matter what she does, no matter how many times she goes back in time, like, it's still going to be the same for him. His mind is made up. But the thing is, are you? Fireworks? Fireworks. <laughs> it's fireworks. <laughs> it's gotta be a firework.
you know but like you may not remember me but I clearly remember you <laughs> mm -hmm. and look how pretty it makes everything look I mean it'd be even better at night would definitely do that. Mm -hmm. God, he looks so pretty like that. I can't fall for another anime man this season. I already fell in love with too many more, so and we already know it's gonna happen in spring. So goddamn it. You'll see. What's wrong? Oh. Took him long enough. Oh my god.
Mm-hmm. I, I mean, damn, you ain't gonna say anything else. We're like, oh no, it's okay, princess. <laughs> Oh my god. Good. <laughs> okay. True, but she'll still find out about it.
No. I mean, look, in the end, we still got our happy ending. Let's see. Pregnant, are you? Oh, <gasps> the ring! You know she's gonna wear it. We both know she's gonna wear it. So? Pretty, ain't it? Oh, my. <laughs> Thank you. 
I can't right now. I'm a little too... <laughs> This was a 10 out of 10. This was, this was too freaking good. <laughs> they together. They technically married. That's all that freaking matters. They are effing together. And I'm just, the way he opened up the ring run. Ugh. Can we just once again talk about that no matter how many times she redid her life, it always led up to him, and it's just, it's too much. This was just a really good series. As someone who has, like, I'm in love with the, just, the villainous isekai trope and such, even though everybody's like, this is a trope that needs to kind of die and stuff. And I'm like, no, 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 It's just getting started. I felt like, you know, the, the woman, Katarina, that, that started it. And then after that, I've just been very obsessive watching the villainous isekai shows. And it's always like, yeah, how can you better this? Because it is the same thing, but you get to see other things in between. Um, this was a really interesting take on it and such. And the fact is that she was able to connect each of her life to her current life Falling in love with Prince Arnold, and he, that's a beautiful as fuck picture, oh my god. It, but it does make me wonder, maybe manga, light novel-wise, like, what else is to possibly happen with these two? Because we're ending on a happy note. We're ending this arc on a very good point where we could potentially see a second season, and I have seen it before, especially with, like, the Saints Magic Powers Omnipotent, with the way how season one ended, and then we instantly got season two, um confirmed after season one and then you know that recently just aired about like two months ago and such and that was good and that wraps that whole story of say and you know her future husband in a nice neat little bow and you kind of want to see more of that because it feels like we're we're scratching the surface for the situation that Risha is going in and such and I would love to see more things between her and Arnold especially them going on like this so-called journey and stuff that could be a second season it really could. But no, this was like really freaking good. Thank God homeboy who her first like somewhat of betrothed, he was not in this as much as I thought he was going to be. That was something that I initially thought like from episode one, we were going to see him every single week. But thank God, like it was a hit it and done. Move on to the next person. I will definitely miss these characters Um, besides Rishia. Um, Theo was really interesting. But yeah, like I, I just want to see some that's all I fucking want. Give me a second season. ASAP. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards the entirety of Seventh Time Loop. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will not see you guys, um, of course, next Sunday because, duh. But I will see you guys the following Sunday for the start. I think I don't have anything, um... I don't have anything until the 14th for specifically Sunday shows. I have to go back and look to see what days out of all eight shows, which still is the craziest. I think that's the lowest number I've ever done. Um, but if there is something else that I am watching, you'll definitely know. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.